Hey guys, welcome back to the Z Code System. Drew here talking with you, and we're going to go over some matches, some match picks for upcoming matches at the FIFA World Cup. We're going to specifically be talking about Monday, November the 28th. We've got four fantastic matches, games featuring Brazil, Switzerland, Portugal. So some great games going on, and two of those teams are bookmakers' favorites to get to the finals, and one of which, Brazil, is currently the bookmakers' favorite to win the tournament Brazil odds now changing to uh, odds now changing to 12 to 5 to win the tournament so this is a uh, a big game for them they're going to be taking on Switzerland so we're going to talk about that in just a second as you can see there on the Z code system blog we've got some great vlogs from uh, Qatar right now some great information going on there from Alberto and you can check out those we've got USA and England going on tonight cuz I'm talking to you here on Friday on November the 25th. So some great games going on. We've provi profiled a few games already for you. Uh, I've come to you with some matches, some match picks, and we're going to be giving you some more right now. Now, as I said before, Brazil are the favorites. They've been the favorites since the beginning. They, uh, The bookmakers have loved the the, the Brazil's, uh, Brazil's chances of winning the tournament, um, but the odds have definitely shifted since the opening round of group stage games. So today on Friday, uh, we've started the second batch of group stage games. And we had a couple of big upsets in that uh, first set of group stage games. Of course, Argentina losing 2-1 to Saudi Arabia. And freaking A, Argentina were my pick to win the World Cup this year. And I know there, are, there were a lot of teams or a lot of people's picks to win the World Cup. And they've seen their odds grow longer uh, due to that loss to Saudi Arabia. So uh, a lot of great things going on right now at the World Cup. And like I said tonight, we've got USA and England going at it. And you can read there or watch Alberto's vlog. But we're going to take a look now at the Soccer Buddy tool. And I'm going to talk you through the games for Monday, November the 28th. So that's three days away. Where we're going to see some big action going on. Okay, so here are the four games here, courtesy of the Soccer Buddy tool and I've just uh, opened up the hot trends there so we can see some hot trends on the different games. So three, uh, excuse me, four very big games going on in groups G and group H uh, and all of these games will have a major impact on teams qualifying. Now we have saw uh, Brazil win, Switzerland win and uh, Portugal win on the first days of the, the group stage and to be honest if those teams win uh, their games on match day two of the group then those teams would basically clinch their places in the knockout stages. So a lot to play for. And if any of those teams lose, why the groups could be thrown wide open. All right, let's start out with that Ghana versus South Korea game. That is going to be the, uh, I believe the second game on uh, Monday. Ghana going into this game after losing 3-2 to Portugal in their opening game. Uh, it was a game in which they trailed at 1.31, but they came back uh, and nearly actually got a draw at the end. Uh, they made some chances out of nothing, really, and uh, yeah, almost nicked a draw in the end um, against Portugal. Now, South Korea, they played a bit of a, a dull game against Uruguay. They drew nil-nil. They did not even have a shot on target. And to be honest, the South Korean team wasn't necessarily uh, that great to watch. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see Ghana go ahead and pick up a win in this game. They are the underdogs there, according to the... Uh, according to the the odds. But more importantly, I can actually see this being a draw between these two teams, a 1-1 draw rather than the 2-1 South Korea win. Now, the tournament does average, after 18 games, uh, does average 2.5 goals a match. But actually, a lot of those goals have been courtesy of some of the, the games featuring Spain, who won 7-0 against Costa Rica, or, or England's 6-2 win over Iran. So just a few of the games have really been uh, collecting the goals. We've seen a lot of scoreless draws uh, at the World Cup. And uh, I believe, if I remember off the top of my head, 17 out of 18 games, uh, as I'm talking to you now, went into halftime without both teams scoring. So if you're looking for a an attractive bet for a lot of these games, you might want to go both teams not to score in the first half. And as you can see there, we have our first half score prediction. Sorry about that. We have our first half score prediction of nil-nil between these two teams. But I do like a 1-1 draw between Ghana and South Korea in this game. South Korea didn't show me anything going forward. As I said, they didn't have any shots on target. And star striker Hyung Min Sun is nursing a broken orbital bone in his face. He's wearing a protective mask over it. 
and he just didn't really get much, uh, didn't really get into the game in that first match. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw between these two teams. All right, let's take a look now at that Serbia versus Cameroon game. Serbia were very disappointing in the opening game. They lost 2-0 to Brazil. And to be honest, this is a team with a lot of talent and a team with some really good attacking players. But unfortunately, uh, manager Dragan Storkovic didn't really play his, his best attacking players, in my opinion, and didn't play them together at the same time on the pitch. So I can see Serbia getting better as the tournament goes on. Cameroon were okay in their uh, 1-0 loss to Switzerland. They did create some chances, but in the end, they really didn't have a, 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 a striker to put away the chances to, to score the goals. Uh, as you can see there from the odds, they are major underdogs. And as you can see, we have a hot trend that we are 5 for 6 predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Serbia in the last six matches. Now, as you can see, the score prediction is 1-0 to Serbia. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised to see if this game be a, a very low scoring game. And once again, I would go first half, both teams not to score in this game, as uh, I think Serbia will pick up a victory in the match against Cameroon. All right, let's move on to uh, what will be the third game of the day, Switzerland and Brazil. Now, keep in mind, Switzerland actually do have a decent head-to-head -head record against Brazil, even though Brazil are the almighty, and everyone was basically giving them the World Cup trophy before the tournament even started. Now, as I said before in the beginning, Brazil are the favorites to win the tournament at odds of 12-5 to 5 at the moment. Uh, those odds have shortened a bit since the start of the tournament after they won that opening game against Serbia 2-0. Uh, Richarlison getting on the goal sheet, scoring twice for Brazil. He is currently co-leader in goals at the World Cup. So if you want to throw down a bit of money on uh, top score market, then you might want to pick Richarlison uh, to get more goals. But I wouldn't be surprised to see Neymar get on the score sheet soon, especially if Brazil get a penalty. Now, Switzerland and Brazil did play at the 2018 edition of the World Cup with the game finishing 1-1. Uh, Switzerland did uh, very well to get a draw in that game. Now, Switzerland are a bit of a wild card in this game. I'm not really sure uh, if they can uh, have the defensive uh, presence in the game to to again get uh, get any points out of this game. Again, I like Brazil's attacking depth. If something doesn't work, manager Tite can go to the bench and bring on another attacking player. And I think that's what kind of happened against Serbia. Uh, things didn't necessarily work in the first half. First half ended nil-nil. Again, both teams not scoring in the first half, which I would suggest again for this game, Brazil and Switzerland, to, to have a punt on both teams not to score in the first half. Um, but he was able to change things and Brazil were able to come out winners. Now, I think Brazil may have a little bit of trouble defeating Switzerland, but in the end, I can see Brazil picking up the win. Now, keeping with some trends of, we, as I said before, both teams not scoring in the first half is a big trend. And we've also seen the trend of the majority of goals coming in the second half. So keep that in mind as the tournament continues to progress. Uh, in this game, though, I do like Brazil to win, and I actually do like that 2-1 scoreline because I think Switzerland can give them enough trouble and put a little bit of fear in Brazil in this matchup. Now, the last game on Monday is going to be Uruguay and Portugal. And to be honest, this is a, a game that you know you could see Uruguay getting something out of. They are very big underdogs there if you look at the, the betting odds. And if you go back four years, Uruguay did defeat Portugal at the 2018 FIFA World Cup by a 2-1 scoreline. The difference really is Uruguay has aged. Um, they've got um, uh, several key players who are just getting older. Diego Godin, uh, center back, is 36, 37 years old. Edinson Cavani is on the wrong side of 30. Luis Suarez is 35. So there are a lot of older players in this Uruguay team, and I believe they are the oldest team at the World Cup. So it remains to be seen if these players can keep up with the, uh, the demands of playing in the World Cup, as well as the heat in Qatar, because it is really hot there at the moment uh, compared to what these players would have been playing in in their domestic leagues back home. Now, Portugal picked up a 3-2 win in that first game. Really no signs of those issues with Cristiano Ronaldo and Manchester United showing in that game as Uruguay, as excuse me, Portugal won 3-2. And like I said before, they did almost throw the game away at the end, uh, but they did look good with goals from Ronaldo and Shaw Felix in the game. And I really do like Portugal's chances. After seeing them in that first game, I do like their chances of actually getting deep into the tournament. 
And if they are able to top Group H, I think that their path to the the final, if all the favorites, if you will, win their groups, I think Portugal's path to the final is actually quite easy compared to uh, teams in the upper half of the bracket, which would feature Brazil. So I like Portugal to pick up a win here. Uh, I do like that 2-1 scoreline because I think Uruguay can get on the score sheet. Again, both teams not to score in their first half. Yes, I like that as well. Uh, and as well, I like the majority of the goals to be scored in the second half. So I'm back in Portugal to pick up a win here. And, uh, you know, I would be surprised if Ronaldo gets on the score sheet again because he scored from the penalty spot for Portugal in that previous game. And if Portugal get a penalty, he's on the pitch. He's taken it for Portugal. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great time watching the FIFA World Cup this year. And I hope you are making some profits on your sports investments. Guys, let me know what you're doing with your betting down in the comments below. Let me know how the World Cup is panning out for you and who you like to win these games. And also, always just hit a thumbs up here to like this video. Share on social media if you can. And if you haven't subscribed to Zcode System, go ahead and hit that subscription button right now and stay up to date on everything we post here on the YouTube channel because there's a lot of content coming your way, especially with the World Cup on. All right, guys, good luck with your betting tonight and on Monday, and I will see you soon back here on Zcode System.